Internet of Things is driving a new industrial revolution. The IoT is an evolution of mobile, home and embedded applications that are connected to the Internet, integrating greater compute capabilities to extract meaningful information. Billions of devices will be connected to the Internet. The Internet of Things represents a complete end-to-end -end architecture. For example, in an intelligent factory, scalable hardware will be joined by security layers and API management to result in pre-integrated solutions for the IoT, enabling vital new capabilities. The main hardware building blocks for such applications are off-the-shelf computer run modules based on the latest Intel Atom processor 3800, formerly codenamed Batrail. Here is an overview of MSC Technologies' offering of such comms. Welcome to Embedded World 2015. My name is Peter Eckelmann. I'm in product marketing from MSC Technologies and I'm here to present the embedded modules for ComExpress, Q7 and NanoRisk. Here in the middle you can see a very small module and this is brand new. It is the implementation of the Intel Atom processor E3800, previously codenamed Baytrail. Baytrail is a single chip system on chip, doesn't require a lot of periphery so that the small module size of ComExpress Type 10, also called the mini module, is sufficient to implement the processor chip as well as DRAM chips on both sides, so there may be up to 8 gigabytes of DRAM on this module. There can also be up to 32 gigabytes of EMMC flash soldered on this module. It's a very versatile module, giving a lot of options to the users. Uh, however, it requires its own baseboard, ComExpress Type 10, is only implementing one row of connectors while the other ComExpress implementations, BASIC and the uh, compact modules here in the lower part are using two connector rows to uh, implement the maximum number of interface signals going down from the module to the baseboard. Now let's start with the lower part of these modules. These modules here are implementing Baytrail processors E3800 or the equivalent Celeron processors from the same product generation, J1900, N2930 or some more uh, versions. However, we are only using the embedded versions of these processors which are and will remain available for as much as 10 years. MSC is giving a 10 years purchasing possibility for all Baytrail based products. On the left here is ComExpress Type 6 Compact 9.5 times 9.5 and here's the same module in ComExpress Type 2. The implementation of the processor and its periphery is almost identical, however Type 2 requires some different interfaces like PCI, which for ComExpress Type 6 is not required. Here on Embedded World, MSC has shown for the first time the brand new Q7 module Q7BT and BT is short for the name Baytrail which is the previous code name used by Intel for the next generation of Atom processors. On this module we are using the quad core, the dual core and the single core processors from the E38XX range of Atom processors. 
The feature of this module is mainly to become available with quad-core, dual-core and single-core processors and the module is also built according to the latest Q7 specification revision 2.0. 2.0 means that this module also supports embedded display port, USB 3.0 and a few other very useful features. Apart from that, it is fully compatible with the remainder of the Q7 family and it is the latest member giving unprecedented performance in terms of computing as well as graphics performance. In order to use this module the best way, MSC is also providing a new baseboard from its range of application and evaluation baseboards. It's the Q7 MB EP6. And that is the new Q7 Revision 2.0 platform that allows the user to plug in the Q7 module and to operate it immediately, more or less out of the box. This baseboard, the EP6 baseboard, gives access to most of the features of the Q7 module, particularly to the USB 3.0, and the other features, especially the graphics and the interface features. What is more, the combination of this Baytrail module and the EP6 platform is available as the Baytrail starter kit, which we see here, and that is the combination of the baseboard, the module with the cooling option and with the module mounted on the board here and we have connected a display using the LVDS interface and that display can be seen here.